I'm a product manager at AdMob. So here we are at GDC. Games today are amazing, incredibly rich, immersive experiences. On my phone, I can build worlds, control armies, or do things with birds, make them angry, help them cross roads, help them fly, things you'd really think birds should be able to do on their own. But I digress. As games have evolved, so have monetization options. Rewarded ads have been one of the biggest asks from our developer friends for a while. But if you're not familiar, here's a quick refresher. I'm playing a game and I die. I'm presented with a choice. I can either wait for 10 minutes or I can use my hard-earned coins, recommend the game to a friend, or watch a video and come straight back to life. When done well, rewarded ads add value for all parties. They are opt-in, integrated experiences. So a quick recap on mediation. Mediation allows you to maximize revenue by calling multiple ad networks from a single platform. This helps ensure there is always an ad to show in your application and that that ad is helping you maximize the amount of money you earn. At AdMob, we want to build a platform to support all your monetization needs. Rewarded has been a gap. And I'm really happy to announce that today we're closing that gap. This afternoon, Rewarded Mediation is now available in AdMob. So these seven great networks, we're adding these to the 40 plus networks that we already support through regular mediation. And this afternoon, Ad Colony, AppLovin, Chartboost, Upsite, formerly Fuse, Fiber and Vungle are all available. And I'm really excited to say Unity Ads will be coming in the next couple of weeks. We want to make experimenting with rewarded ads easy. We want you to be able to experiment with different networks in different orders and different reward types. As such, you can configure reward and waterfall settings for each ad unit. That information is stored server-side, so you don't need to change your code to experiment with new configurations. And we want to give you tools to maximize performance. With our ad network optimization product, we automate the process of calling the ad from the highest paying network. And optionally, you can set frequency caps to make sure your users don't get bored seeing the same ad again and again. A little bit more about ad network optimization. So mediation on its own isn't quite enough. Across multiple networks, the CPMs are changing in real time. Managing that complexity manually is very, very difficult. When you enable ANO, AdMob will automatically check which network is paying the highest ad and return that into your app. This helps maintain a high level of revenue. So I'm really pleased to say that four of the networks are fully supported with country level granularity and three more are coming later in April. So setup is really straightforward. As I said, we want to give you the flexibility to experiment with rewards. When you're setting up your rewards, you can specify to use third-party settings that you've put on another network, or you can set overrides that are stored on Google servers. And you can also set a frequency cap down to the day, hour, or minute. And of course, measurement is critical. So you'll be able to see in your reports your rewarded queries, starts, and completes. So we are really, really excited to bring this to you today. We know it's been a gap for a while. We've been testing with a number of partners over the last quarter, and I'm really pleased to say that they love it. So we really look forward to seeing how the rewarded space evolves, and we're really looking forward to working more with you to get us feedback on the product, and I'm really excited to see how it's going to evolve. So thank you very much. Thank you.